Nemesis is looking beautiful. Project Exodus looks amazing with its brand new layout and it looks way better than Nemesis. You don't dip and dive into feeling like your feet are going to crack against the rocks. How can you say that when Project Exodus is literally going to be the best thing to come to the UK? Stop! Hello! As you can tell by the title and, well, the sort of premise of this video, we are doing Which Will Be Better, which is a sequel to Which Is Better. Thoughtful names, eh? So me and Marcus Thrill Riders. Yo, it's Mr. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> we are going to be pairing up some UK roller coasters to see which is better. And this time we're including brand new rides opening in 2024. That's why we're saying which will be better because <laughs> I've actually ridden the new Nemesis before it's even finished the track. We're going to have a little debate regarding our opinions on these coasters. In each debate, you will be able to win a point if you win the debate, of course. And after all of the debates are finished, we'll see who has the most points and who will win the grand prize of... Um, a, a, an angle grinded piece of Project Exodus support. And whilst you're here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. What well, shall we begin with the first one? Now, this is one very close to our hearts. It is Hero versus the Ultimate. Which one are you going to defend, Marcus? I suppose I'm defending Hero because I haven't done the other one. You're a wrong one. Hero, no villains. It's only positivity here. It's all good. Hero's come in to save the day. It's completely different to anything else in the UK. Thus, it must be good. If it's different, that means it's good. 100% yes. What was your reaction <laughs> after riding it all day? Come on, Marco. Ow. We don't go into Hero. <laughs> Still a bit creaky from that. Well, if I have to defend the Ultimate, I will, because I'd actually say it's probably better than Hero. But anyway, the Ultimate has two lift hills. First of all, more the merrier, more fun. You said different equals more exciting. This is very different here. This was manufactured by British Rail. Not even made by a roller coaster manufacturer. It's been made by British Rail. They make railways. What more could you ask for? The smoothest operation. Trains might be a bit late, but smooth. Are you sure it's not on strike? I mean, it is SBNO and it's been knocked down. So Hero wins! <laughs> We are now going to head over to the Intamin Forest of Alton Towers, the Dark Forest 13 versus Rita. It's time to get into the big dogs. And as much as I absolutely despise the ride, Marcus has chosen to defend 13. So I've got to defend my beloved. You certainly do. 13, the best ride at Alton Towers, some might say. Some, some might, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. okay. A ride that is full of dense theming and storytelling. Something that Rita lacks on a superior level. What even is the story of Rita? Is it a race car? Is it in a forest? Wait, is it both? Who knows? It's just stupid. Bro literally asked what the storyline of Rita is and then explained that it's a race car in a forest. That's <laughs> not a cohesive story. 13, you're going into the woods and... Actually, wait, what is the story of 13? There uh, you go. It's cool. There used to be even more theming, but sadly, we've lost the ladder. The ladder used to go across the queue line as you entered the station. Enough talk about ladders and the loss of ladders. I think we need to actually talk about the ghost of themselves, you know. Rita may not have as good a storyline, but what it does is I have a punchy launch. Well, Digital David, so does 13. I think you'll find that a lot of people talk about 13's launch right at the end of the ride. But is it as good as Rita's? Yes. I'd say that one's better than Icons, but this one is almost up there with stealth, you know. The acceleration is of knots. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> <laughs> of knots! As it says on a sign outside of the ride, I don't know how true this is, but it says Rita was named the best ride ever. Rita might have to win that one, my friend. Absolutely not. You can't just put a sign outside saying it's the best and then... <laughs> That's enough of that debate. This is a rose in a jar as seen in the film Beauty and the Beast. Why have I brought this to you, Daniel? Colossus is so well themed that it could be considered a beauty. And six theme could be considered beastly. What's wrong with a beast? In this case, Colossus is just leagues ahead with its theming and its music. And also, it is so much more comfortable. Huh? For the purpose of this video, I did say in my previous vlogs that Sick did have a bit of a rattle to it and it was quite painful. Ignore all of that. Put it aside. I'm going I'm going beast mode. <laughs> I think you said that Colossus has the better music. Yes, it may have themed music, but when it comes to the teenage demographic, who's going to win? Sick. We love those beats in the station. That metal lap bar across your legs as you roll through those rolls is the most painful experience of a UK coaster. Well, you see, Hero is just... It was 
bad, Daniel. It was bad. Hero is just across from Matt Ryan, so I don't really know how you can say that's the most painful experience in the country, but... Yeah, I forgot about Hero, actually. You know, as much as I hate to be that guy and uh, deplete my own defence, I'll, I'll give it to Colossus, to be fair. We'll give it to Colossus. Yeah! Bringing in my next prop. He's got props. Why, why does he have props? I'm lighting this candle to keep me calm. Okay. It's a green candle. Oh my god, that flame is... Yeah, I was going to say, what the hell? Now that I've got my calming candle lit, it's time to talk about Mandrill Mayhem. It's the world's first B&M shuttle wing launched boomerang. Shuttle and boomerang mean the same thing. Yeah, it does. And you could sit in any seat on Mandrill Mayhem and it would literally be a completely different experience. Even the back row is facing backwards, which the swarm now sadly lasts. But it had it. So that point is irrelevant. I would say the Swarm, who is getting a wing overdrop anywhere else in the UK? It's on the Swarm. Doesn't it just look like the most beautiful piece of land? It's got like a destroyed church for the station. It's got like destroyed plane wings. Just so much stuff. So cool. I think I've won this debate through the silence of Thrill Riders Marcus. Marcus. We are on to the penultimate one and this will be a which will be better question because these rides have not even began construction yet. The Legoland Jeweling Racers and Drayton's Family Thrill Lift and Launch Roller Coaster. Marcus is defending the lift and launch. There is no competition here. Drayton Manor have this in the bag. I disagree. And the reason I disagree is because the Legoland Racers is two separate... Why are you laughing at me? Is two separate rides. They're two separate entities. They run down that hill and it's going to be an amazing first drop when you're both up there all the way into an airtime hill through the station and then just meander around and do it all again backwards that is going to be beautiful and i'm sure the theming is going to be amazing too that is a very elaborate way to describe a very mediocre boomerang whereas i'm talking about something brand new something from intamin something that launches and goes upwards from a lift something that will be potentially heavily themed looking at the intamin concept video which has been circulating around that looks like a heavily themed roller coaster if we're getting that roller coaster could we be seeing something that is a big experience? Maybe. But the races are going to be two separate red and blue sides. You know, you're going to have this dueling aspect. It's like the Grand National, you know, you're going to be racing your friends. You'll say, hello, everybody, as you pass and you might win the race or I don't know whether it's actually going to be racing. Or... Does your racing coaster have a launch? No, but it has a lift hill that goes up backwards. So does mine. Where does it go up backwards? What does going up a lift hill backwards solve? Nothing. You just can't see where you're lifting to. Lifting forwards. Where am I going with this? <laughs> Have I convinced you, sir? The Drayton launch does look good, and the Legoland races until we see that go vertical. I, d I don't know what it's going to be like, really. So, you, know, you win that one, Marcus. You win that one. <laughs> We're now on to the final one. The finale. The grand finale. Don't want to say the word finale anymore. Finale. Alton Towers v Thought Park in Nemesis versus Project Exodus. Obviously, Nemesis reborn because it's getting retracked. I'm not just ranking the old Nemesis versus this brand new Mac Hypercoaster. This is going to be an interesting debate, and Marcus is going to be defending Nemesis, and I'm going to be defending Project. The calming candle only goes so far, but you could make me really angry in this situation. I probably will. Nemesis is looking beautiful. We are seeing one of the best marketing campaigns of any roller coaster being constructed. This beautiful new track. Tell me another roller coaster that has artwork on the track spine itself. I actually do know a coaster that has artwork on the spine. As much as it isn't on the spine, it is artwork of the whole ride itself. Project Exodus is going to look beautiful. The gold and the white color scheme. Stop laughing at me. The gold at the bottom of the coaster to the white up top is going to look amazing with that Egyptian stylization we're predicting. I just, oh, I can't wait to see that happen. Arguably, Nemesis is the most exciting project being constructed at this moment in time, in my opinion. Let's actually talk about the rides for a second. Nemesis, the same old ride. Project Exodus, brand new layout. Going to be so comfortable and it's going to get to the top of that lift hill 236 feet in the air by the way and drop all the way down underneath itself best drop in the world one off right you're actually making me upset now you just disrespected the layout of nemesis the original john wardley creation i know the layout's not changing for nemesis but it doesn't need to 
it was already the best. They are actually changing the layout slightly because the vertical loop is now made up of three. It's the same loop. I disagree personally. Listen here, right? Okay. You need to start paying some respect, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to laser blast you in the air. I just think Project Exodus is going to have that edge because of its height and because of the elements on it. Yours is not even in a pit. Yours is just on flat ground. There it is. It's actually oh, well. on a lake. Thank you very much. Boring. Gonna... How is that boring? boring. You don't no. dip and dive into feeling like your feet are going to crack against the rocks under the... <laughs> he made the John Morley reference. He made the John Morley reference. Stop! How can you say that when Project Exodus is literally going to be the best thing to come to the UK since I've <laughs> sliced bread? How can you say that when you don't even know you haven't even been on it yet? Where well, something you have been on is Nemesis. And guess what? It actually wasn't better than I got. Disrespecting Nemesis like this is disrespecting me, disrespecting John Wardley, and disrespecting the whole community. Blow the calm candle. The calm candle is still going. You should be calm. Shush! Where's Exodus Subterra? Where's... It, it just doesn't exist! Black Mirror Labyrinth exists for a reason right opposite the site. I promise you, it's to do with that. Oh, he's walking out again. Comedy. You know, he should... He, you should run for the comedy club or just... Um... Okay, he's, he's actually gone. Up. Stupid! That is so dumb! The boy knows nothing!